Hey, I'm Mark. And I'm Christina. And we're here to learn three different ways to play dominoes for two players. If it's your first time visiting the channel, make sure you hit the, the like button. Hit subscribe and the bell. Hit subscribe. And the bell. In the bell and the bell. And the bell. <laughs> and. And, and the bell. And the bell. <laughs> what? If it's your first time visiting, hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. So there are two different things? Yeah, there's a subscribe button and a notification bell. What's the difference? Subscribe adds them to your subscription list. The notification bell actually oh. tells them when you've uploaded. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well make sure you click the subscribe and bell button. <laughs> the three games we're going to be learning how to play today are Block Dominoes, Draw Dominoes, and a game called Muggins. To play uh, Block Dominoes, you start with a set of six, six dominoes. So that'll be 28 dominoes. Put them in the center of the playing space and shuffle them up. Okay. Each player, in a two-player game, each player will draw seven dominoes. So I'll start. You take one. You will not show each other your dominoes. <laughs> In block domino, there is no draw pile. The rest of the dominoes become what's called the boneyard, but in this game, you don't use it. So those just get pushed aside. To begin, the player with the highest double goes first. So you just ask, do you have the double six? No. Do you have the double five? No. Do you have the double four? No. Okay, I have the double three, so I have the highest double. I go first. Now you don't have to lay that. In some games, you have to lay the double, but in this, you can lay whatever you want. The object of the game is to be the first player to get rid of all of your dominoes. And if you're playing multiple rounds, you're going to play tor towards a score of 100. So the first player to score 100 points wins the game. So I've played, now it's the opponent's turn to play. They have to play a domino that can either connect to the two or the one. And the play comes back to me. All right, when you want to play a double, you put it down sideways. Um, when you do this, players are not allowed to build off of the edges. The line is still continued straight. In block domino, you are building a straight line of dominoes. Okay, now we're gonna allow this because we're gonna pretend like we are running out of room on the playing space. <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally you would put your domino like that, but for the sake of this demonstration, we'll allow it. <laughs> I don't have anything. Okay, when a player is unable to make a play, that's called being blocked, hence the name Block Domino. So if that happens, her turn is over, your opponent's turn is over, and it is now back to you. Unfortunately, I cannot play either. So when both players are blocked, the game is over, the player with the lowest pip total is the winner. So I have a pip total of seven. What do you have? Zero. <laughs> I've never played before. Wow. All right. So How do you play again? for this, <laughs> Christina is the winner of this round. She would get seven points based on my pip total. So in the event that a player can play their final domino, that player would yell, Domino! Because they won. They earn points based on the pip value of all the opponents. So in a two-player game, I would have earned the I would have earned points based on the pip value of her remaining domino, which the little sneaky sneak had a value of zero. So I would have earned zero points for that round. Now let's jump into how to play draw dominoes. <laughs> Each player in a two-player game takes seven dominoes. The rest of the dominoes gets pushed off to the side as the bone yard. That's the draw pile for the game. Again, the player with the highest double goes first. She plays a double five. Now, turn passes to me. Again, when a 
double domino is played, you do not start branching off in either direction. You're still creating one line of domino. Okay, so she blocked what I was trying to do and now I have to draw from the boneyard. A player draws until they get a domino they can play. In a two-player game, you never draw the last domino from the boneyard. In a game of three or four players, you would never draw the last two from the boneyard. Domino! Okay, so I have won the round. I get points based on my opponent's pip total. 12, 20, 24, 25 points. Okay, the final game. Now, <laughs> these were both pretty simple. Muggins is a little more trickier. There's a lot more math involved. All of these games can work for three or four players. Muggins is special because it can actually be played in teams. Now, for this example, we're gonna do a two-player game, and I will put details for the team-based game down in the description. All right, same deal. Each player draws seven dominoes. Player with the highest domino goes first. And this domino is placed in the center. So do you have the double six? Mm -hmm. All right, so the double six goes to the center. Now in this game, this is called a spinner, meaning that we will be able to branch off in all four directions. So that first domino is gonna be a six. That means we can play four sixes off of it. And for this um, demonstration, we are still gonna play where you only go off in two directions. And the point of the game is to try to get the most points each round. You play to a total of 100 points. And you get points by trying to lay dominoes so that both ends of the domino line add up to a multiple of five. Each round, or I'm sorry, for each lay. So when you lay a domino, you have to pay attention. Do the two ends add up to equal a multiple of five? If so, you get points based on that multiple. So if it equals five, you get one point. 10, two points. 15, three points, and so on. If you cannot make a play, you draw dominoes until you can. In a typical game where you're playing in four directions, there will be more potential for extra points to be earned, and it adds complexity to the game. I play this domino. My ends equal 10. Five plus five is 10, so I earn one point. Throw it on the scoreboard. We'll play like this, we'll continue until the end. Same rules apply as far as going out. If you're able to play your last domino, you yell out domino to say you won, and then you get points based on their pit value total of their remaining dominoes. And the point system is a little weird for this game, so we'll go over that at the end. In this game, players have to draw until they can get a domino that works. Domino! All right, so <laughs> I earned two points during the game, but now she's gonna earn some points based on my pip value total. Now the way this works is really weird. If I only have one or two pips remaining, she will earn zero points at the end of the hand. If I have three to seven pips remaining, she will earn five points eight to 12 pips remaining, and she will receive 10 points, and so on. She gets five points for every five pips that I have remaining. It's weird, but it works. I have three, seven, eight, nine, so she earns 10 points. So right now, at the end of this hand, the score is 10 to two. We play until the first player reaches 100 points, and they are the winner. One more rule that you need to know about. If a player plays a domino and does not recognize the fact that they have created a multiple of five by adding the two ends, 
Um, and an opponent at the table can steal the points by saying Muggins! 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 They get the points instead of the person that laid the domino. We just want to take a moment to invite you to the Clubhouse on Patreon. Members get special access to all content, they get to vote on which games are covered, and they get to participate in club-only events. Hey, I'm Mark. And I'm Christina. And we're here to learn... <laughs> See, he's gonna... I'm, uh, okay. If it's your first time visiting the channel, make sure you hit the... <laughs> See? Oh, we need to do it in all one cut. All right. Hey, I'm Mark. And I'm Christina. And we're here to learn to play three different ways. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. Yeah. All right. Hey. Oh, really? Hey, I'm Mark. And I'm Christina. And we're here to learn how to play three different dominoes games for two players. If it's your... <laughs> this okay. is really hard. Go ahead. If it's your...